If you were someone like me who had dry, cracked, or irritated skin, Aquaphor could be your go-to. I was three for three with dry, cracked, and irritated skin. This product has been a great ointment, especially during the winter. My only issue is how oily it makes my face. I feel like a, like an eight-year-old. Like I feel like I'm in second grade. Like my mom just sent me off to school with an oily face. Anyways, good morning, everyone. Today is my I guess not so ordinary 7 a.m. morning routine. For one, I woke up a little bit earlier than that because I wanted to catch the sunrise or Instagram carousel that I've been doing once every like couple weeks where I try to catch like the most beautiful sunrises and then take pictures around the apartment in the morning. But honestly, every time I get up early enough to shoot, the sunset just doesn't sunset enough. The pictures are good, but they aren't as good as the first picture I did with the sunrise. I got like 60,000 likes. Still doesn't even make any sense. I'm just gonna unload these dishes and then I think I'm gonna have a liquid hydration tablet because I've been trying to replace coffee with liquid hydration tablets. Basically, I drink way too much coffee with creamer. I drink way too much creamer with my coffee. Lee likes to say, basically I'm drinking warmed up creamer. It makes me feel gross. So I'm gonna be drinking hydration tablets or black coffee for now on in the morning. Unless it's Thursday, cause the Thursday is my favorite day, so I kinda. So the thing about this morning routine is I thought it was going to be a bit more like moody, but it's extremely vibrant because sunrise in New York City is 630. So by the time it was like 715, 730 in the morning, it was already sunny. And it also feels like there's been like four different days in one because I did wake up a bit before 7 a.m. So the initial sunrise was a combination of colors and then it became a little bit more gray and then now it's back to sunny. But then if you look at Manhattan versus Brooklyn or at least earlier, Manhattan had more overcast and Brooklyn was more sunny. Um, yeah, maybe we just won't rest as much if you're lifting, we just won't, you know, we'll, we'll or just take out the, the appropriate like, rest or something.
so since today's Monday, we're going to be doing push, and I actually don't have a workout routine, like a weekly routine, um, because we just ended this like six week training program, and I feel like I'm in limbo because we're going to be traveling to Europe for the next few weeks. I'm going to a developer conference in Amsterdam. It's like dev world and I think Vue.js. So when you do push pull legs, it's much easier to, I guess, be consistent because it's technically only like three days. I do four days where the fourth day is more arms focused because a lot of the push and pull exercises that I do don't necessarily focus on like my triceps or biceps at all. And I've been using the Gymshark app for probably like five years uh, can go wrong with it you can find a ton of workouts they also have some workout plans that are pretty easy to follow routine it's really like three to four products that i use these are these products from plant made which is this black owned business based in the uk if i'm not mistaken and it's a vegan hair product brand and i really love their products i've been using them since basically i started growing my hair out which was like maybe even october so i use drizzle and inches for my hair and then i use roots for my beard and then i'll combine that with either some sort of like hair serum like this milkshake which is like a leave-in conditioner for all hair types or i'll use something along the lines of like maybe this leave-in conditioner um, called curls it really kind of depends and then and then i usually wrap up my hair routine with an oil just to keep my hair nice and moisturized especially on days where i'm going to be wearing some sort of like hat <laughs> all day because my hair can get really frizzy and it can get really dry i struggle to <laughs> take care of the back of my hair because i always focus on like what i can typically see and feel for the most part which is like the front and the sides but this is the longest i've grown my hair out in a long time maybe ever my clone of choice for the day will be baccarat 540. this is the most expensive clone i've ever purchased but worth every penny like this cologne lasts so long i'll put on a shirt or sweater that i haven't worn in like a week or two and i'll still smell the cologne it's crazy now that I'm all showered, because I need to jot down my to-do list for the day. That's a very underrated part of my morning routine that I've been doing a lot more consistently. I'm not as consistent as I like to be, but on really busy days like today, I'm gonna be traveling across the world. I need to make a to-do list so the time doesn't get away from me. And I also am pretty bad with time management. Like I, I think I have more time than, than I realized. Yesterday, um, I did some work, even though I wasn't supposed to, because it was, it was a Sabbath, Sundays, are for rest oh my phone's dead but i had a to-do list of things that i needed to get done while i'm at home and while i'm at the airport along with while i'm on the plane since our flight is at a pretty decent hour like it's, it's nowhere near a red eye it's an afternoon but we're gonna get there a little early so we can go to one of the lounges and just experience being at the delta lounge because it's honestly a really nice thing to experience before you fly out honestly it's just more relaxing to start out your trip that way <laughs> like We've been cutting it really close with our last couple um, flights, but they were domestic, so we weren't too worried about missing them. But we're gonna get there earlier, much, much earlier for this international flight. So we can just on a plane, relax, we can sleep, because we're gonna get there really early. I don't know if they'll have our room available for us. So I'm almost done with my to-do list, and <laughs> I can already tell I have so much more on my plate than I realized pretty much have everything wrapped up with work. I'm really excited about this conference. Like 
I this is only my second time doing an international conference. So the last time I did it, it was so much fun. Just the camaraderie with my teammates going to another country, a new city. I'm also going to Berlin, been there before, and then we're gonna be going to Spain after the work trip. You have to take advantage of being on that side of the world.